Hello, thanks for watching the video. Today I'm trying to get brakes working on this uh, 63 Mercury. And we're going to take a look at the uh, brake assembly for the first time since uh, it's been driven. I think the last time was around 76, 77. So 40 something years. Hasn't been touched. Wheel has not been removed. I just removed the wheel cover, hubcap here for the first time. And uh, See, it's pretty clean in there. Cub hubcap has been on. It's been uh, it's been in a basement until here in the last couple months. It's been outside, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take uh, take this wheel off today, and we'll take a look at the brake system in case you're interested in what that the assembly will look like if you're working on maybe a, a '60s uh, Ford or Mercury. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I didn't expect it to be that hard. The other one was the other one was not that hard. All right. So all the lugs look like they're in good shape. be able to start taking them off by hand all the way so uh, yeah it looks very good here very good so I'll go ahead and take these off and then we will uh, get ready to take the wheel off here's the lugs probably from 1963 let's go ahead and pull the wheel off bugs living in there all right now will the uh, will the drum come off so uh, let's go ahead and take this center piece off here grab a screwdriver liquid grease here's our liquid grease here We've got a cotter pin we need to straighten out then we will pull that through Take this piece off here. All right, let's see how tight this nut is here. See, that's almost hand tight. There's a washer here. Actually, maybe we can get the drum started. Washer. Lines up. Uh, 
one way on the axle. Right there. Bearing next. Set the camera up. I'm going to use two hands for this. There's our bearing. Have to repack those. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Some brake dust in there. We're going to spray it down right now using brake cleaner. Really looks pretty good. Even got uh, paint. Ah, that was paint on the spring still. Wagner Lockheed brake cylinder made in USA. And that's the assembly for this uh, for the '63. Here's the uh, brake adjustment here. Uh, that's the um, emergency brake cable. It goes on first. Is it going first? Let's see. Yeah, it goes on first. It's that little loop there. Uh, as far as the springs go, you've got the red spring on right uh, after the emergency brake loop there. And then you've got the spring over here going on last. Down here you've got the spring going in from the bottom of the brake shoe, the big hole, going into the, uh, uh, I forget what you call that. But uh, you know, just a little brace or bracket deal there, and that's the star adjustment right there. See how that's set up, and then of course that's set into the shoes there on each side. Bendix, let's say Bendix, maybe Bendix brake shoes. Um, can't see that anymore, but before I sprayed, I could, uh, could see that, the Lockheed. So uh, anyway, that's the brake assembly. Um, sometime I'm going to have to test and see <laughs> if this works. I doubt if it works. But it's not leaking. The other side was leaking. Uh, let's take a look in here. Yeah, that's, that's from where it drained off. But uh, there's no sign that uh, that brake cylinder burst anywhere. Uh, we can just feel it right here. And yeah, I don't uh, feel any. I don't know, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell, but I, I'm not positive that it's going to work. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Again, that is the brake assembly for a Mercury Monterey Custom.
kind of get it back on to, at least a yard runner anyway so we need some brakes even for that thanks for watching the video so next time have a great day out there take care